Hey guys, Matthew here, and today I want to make a video explaining exactly how I learned to make currency and how to this day I still learn to make currency. Now I've said it a lot and I'll say it again, this game is all about knowledge and not so much about skill. There's almost no real amount of skill involved, it's all about knowing things versus not knowing things. This is the strategy that I use to become somebody who knows things and a lot of things. This is exactly what I do to learn how to make money every single time. All right, so before I go, there's only a little thing that I need to explain, and that is that technically in this game, you can hide how much money you have by putting it in a private tab, right? So if my tab is put is not put on public, nobody knows I have 14 mirrors. If my tab is put on public, anybody in the game can see that I have 14 mirrors, right? Anybody. Now, the people in this game who make a lot of money, like a lot, a lot, typically are not going to have their uh, their tabs publicly reason for that they don't want people to actually know what they're doing or look into them or even you know ask them sometimes uh how much how they're making their currency or whatever it is right they want to keep it a secret because it's working for them but there's a there's a little bit of an issue there anybody who wants to buy a mirror or at least who wants to buy a mirror for the cheapest possible price is going to need to put a mirror buyout now a mirror buyout is basically when you are putting your own currency for sale for somebody else's mirror but the thing is this if i put a mirror buyout right now at 250 exalts and my stash tab is public and i only have 11 exalts in my stash it will not show up on the website you need to actually have enough currency to complete the buyout so i would need minimum 250 exalts it doesn't have to be in this stash but it needs to be publicly somewhere on my account for the api to pick it up and then it's going to show up on the website so even if they're trying to hide how much money they really have they can never hide the fact that they are trying to buy mirrors and they need to have at least that amount of currency and this is something we can play off of so now that we know that that let's go ahead and hop in the website and i'll show you guys three different strategies that i use the first strategy is going to be simply to put exalted orb in the search put go on any so it shows people offline and at the bottom here under buyout price i'm going to change or sorry under listed i'm going to change this to any time and under sell type i'm going to change this to any what this allows me to do is to see the people who have exalts listed that are not for sale but that are public uh then i'm going to go ahead and look it up it's going to show me upwards of 10,000 results, which is the maximum. Now, I'm not actually going to be able to see 10,000, but I'm not interested in seeing 10,000. I'm interested in seeing the top. So I'll go ahead and press stack size, and this is going to show me the people with the most currency in the league publicly right now, at least in terms of exults. So we see a few different people. There's this guy with over 900. This guy's got 700, 500. There's a lot of them, right? There's a lot of people who know how to make currency, and it seems to be increasing every league. People are knowing and learning how to make currency, which is good, uh, because that means there's not quite the same people every single league with the same amount, uh, with the, the most amount of currency. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the two other strategies, and then we're going to move on a little further, and I'll explain some additional things. So. Second strategy is to go under bulk item change and go under mirror of Calandra. So you have a mirror of Calandra and I want exalts. What this allows me to check is basically I'm uh, cosplaying the uh, or role playing somebody who has a mirror and who wants to sell it. And then what well, that, that will allow me to see is the currency that people are willing to pay for a mirror. But what I'm interested in is seeing the stock because by looking at the stock, I can see how many exalts these people who are buying mirrors actually have so this guy's got 295 this guy's got over 500 you know and so on i can see exactly who has how many exalts so because they're buying mirrors right now this doesn't mean that this is their only amount of exalts that they have technically maybe their exalts are just not public remember what i said you only need so much public the rest could be in a uh, private tab so long as you have enough but there are still people who don't care or who forget about trying to hide what they're doing or again who just don't care so they'll actually keep their pub their uh their currency public so we can see for example that this guy over here has over a thousand exalts so this is probably going to be somebody that we want to look into a little bit more 
Now, the last thing that I'll do is basically I'll roleplay somebody who has currency, who has exalt, and wants to buy mirrors. By doing that, I can see exactly who has mirrors and how many they have. If they only have one or two, well, only one means that they probably got lucky, maybe they dropped it, you know, whatever. Two mirrors, eh, you're probably not going to drop two mirrors, especially in one league. So chances are you've earned those. But what I'll be looking for under minimum stock is I'll probably, probably, probably look for like three and up. So we can see that there's six listings right now of three plus mirrors. Uh, there's this guy who's got three, this guy who's got seven, this guy who's got 11, and so on. And there's me with 14, PogChamp. So let's go ahead and just I'll be showcasing three examples of how I would do this and adding some additional details. Now we could go in and do this for every single one of these people and we, would, we could learn incredible amounts of things, but this video would also be incredibly long. So we're going to use this guy. So what I'll do is I'll just middle mouse click his name and this is going to open another tab with his account. And I'll do that with a few of these people. I'll do comrade guy, which is over a thousand exalts. I'll do uh, OWD because I know the guy and I, he was actually showcased the last time I made this video because I made this video about two years ago. Uh, but I definitely think I needed to refresh uh, this video because it's it's to this day still what I do to learn how to make money. So now I'll be able to uh, close all this. Now I've got three different profiles open. What I'll do is that even if their profile are private, what they're doing with their currency, or at least how they're making their currency, right, through selling items, this has to be public. They can't hide what they're selling unless they're selling on an alternate account. Now, this is something that the biggest tryhards are actually going to do, but the vast majority of people will not do as it's too much work for no reason. So... I'll go ahead and I'll copy paste their I, their account name. I'll go into trade, search items, and then I'll go at the bottom where it says seller account and I'll just put in their account name under any to see if they're offline as well. And then I'm just gonna search. Now, if I wanna hide all the garbage, what I can do under buyout price is change that to exalts and maybe put a minimum of like five exalts. Now this is gonna be able to show me only the items that are five plus exalts that these people are selling. Now, he's only got a few. He's only got 17, which is strange because he uh, has 11 mirrors. So what that means is that this guy probably deals in volume, quantity over quality. And I actually know that he does because I know him personally, but we're going to change that to one exalt. Now we'll see that he has 153 items, and this is going to give us a much better representation of what he's doing. So we can see that what he's doing is he's flipping perfect uniques. Now, this is actually the account that I used the last video that I made, so this is nothing new to me. But, for example, these Perfect Life Combs Roots, and he's got a bunch of them, Perfect Life, uh, Perfect Damage uh, Combs Hearts, whatever, whatever, right? We can also cl click this little Exalt sign here, and this is going to show us on top what his most expensive items are, so we can see that he's also flipping Watcher's Eyes, he's flipping uh, Good Corruptions on some gloves, so these are perfect face breakers uh, with Vuln. Uh, he's flipping some jewels. Now, these are for Righteous Fire. Uh, ES Righteous Fire, I'm guessing, with burning area and fire damage and energy shield. And then some triple, uh, some quad cast speed jewels as well for whoever, really. Uh, and, you know, just perfect uniques in general. For example, this is one off on the crit multi and perfect physical damage taken, seven exalts. Meanwhile, an Abyssus is only just a few chaos, right? So, now the thing is, with the strategy that he's doing is actually this is something that I used to do a lot of but GGG has severely decreased the amount of uh, life searches that we can have at a time to 20 now not only that the API has been kind of garbage this league but there are other websites and for example OWD since I know him personally and know what he does he uses PoE.trade on PoE.trade there is no limit so you could bookmark like a hundred different a uh, hundred or two hundred or a thousand different life searches and just open them all up and let them run and then just buy up whenever they pop up. This is what I used to do with the, the official website, but like I said, we can't do that anymore due to API uh, limitations. Websites like poe.trade allow you to still do that, so you could go in and make all those different live searches. There's one thing to note though, those APIs are delayed a little bit. They're not delayed an incredible amount, but they are delayed compared to the official API. So clearly he's at a disadvantage here compared to anybody else, but he's got a crazy big advantage due to the fact that he can look at so many different items while most people are restricted to 20. 
So this is how he makes his mirrors, and this guy makes lots and lots and lots of mirrors, uh, considered to be one of the best currency generator in the game until probably about a year ago, uh, when this whole thing kind of started to really um, fall down in terms of how strong it is. But as you can see, 11 mirrors as a solo player, and uh, he does play a lot, he's online a lot, I know the guy, like I've said previously, but... Clearly, it's a strategy that works if you're willing to put in the time to make the filters. Okay, let's move on. I don't know this guy, Comrade GG. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Exalts. Let's go for five and see how many items he has. So only 20 items worth uh, 20 exalts. We're going to look at his highest priced items because maybe he's a crafter. Doesn't seem to be a crafter too, too much. He's got some items which seem to be crafted. Uh, looks like he's actually got a lot of boots for sale. Now, what's interesting about these boots is that they all have energy shield implicits. And it looks like they have, they're basically just high energy shield boots. And he is selling them for really expensive. And you'll see that this 32% move speed here might be a little weird to you. That's because it's essence crafted. Deafening essence of zeal will give you 32% move speed. Uh, so that's what these are. So he's just spamming these essences until he gets good ES and then he probably... Uh, I'm guessing throws a few harvest crafts at them and makes some pretty decent profit. If these are actually selling for these ridiculous prices, he is probably making bank off of these boots, which would explain why he had over a thousand exalts. That being said, maybe he also deals in quantity. So let's see. He only has 34 items at one plus exalt, which is not an indicator of somebody who would have a thousand exalts at all. What that means is that he's probably making... Uh, more expensive items and going for quality over quantity which is what we can see by the fact he has a lot of items which are 20 30 plus exalts and yes these items do sell now i don't know about his 20 uh, eight exalt boots selling but if he's got a thousand exalts he's got to be selling some of this stuff so, which is something you need to keep in mind he knows what he's doing otherwise he wouldn't be doing it but if we go through his items you'll see that it's mostly either the boots or he's also looking like he's got some uh, regular amulets, which are basically high fizz damage, crit multi, crit chance, and life. Uh, so it does tell me that he's probably a flipper. Uh, you know, life searching these boots with energy shield, be it flat energy shield or percent, and then crafting them up and selling them. And he's also got a life search set up for some high crit fizz amulets, which is also something that works. A thousand plus exalts clearly knows what he's doing. All right, next we had King Min Guy, which had over 900 exalts, the highest in terms of uh, um, public exalts on the on the on the non mirror buyout. So looks like this guy's got only 95 items for sale, uh, and a lot of them are cheap. So we're gonna go ahead and press exact price to try to get an idea of uh, what he's actually doing to make currency because he's probably going for quality over quantity since he only has 95 items and a lot of them seem to be cheap so he's got a 50 exile helmet here uh which seems to be just basically elevated mana um and he looks like he has some cooldown recovery rate enchant okay that's weird uh now he's got a ring with flammability a little bit of energy shield and life gain for each enemy hit by her spells no life no res that's also pretty weird. Um, looks like he has some boots, which are avoid frozen, cooldown recovery rate, and move speed. And none of this guy's items are particularly interesting. And I'm actually surprised he has that much currency for the kind of garbage that he's selling. That being said, the kind of garbage that he's selling right now might not have been the kind of garbage that got him to a thousand exalts which is that is going to require a little bit more experience. Now I can tell you that he didn't make, you know, a thousand exalts selling this garbage. I can guarantee you that. So we're not going to, we're not going to learn a whole lot from this guy. Unfortunate. We still had a lot to learn from Comrade GG with the whole boots, which is actually something that's completely new even to me. I had never considered this. I are, I knew about, you know, synthesized boots having energy shield as an implicit, but because they're not, you know, influence boots no tailwind no no uh, pierce no uh, elusive and all those crazy stats i didn't really consider them as to being too too good to make currency but look at that if you slap a bit of quality on them with 
some perfect fossils, you pair that up with some high percent or flat implicit, and then you just get some type of good flat or percent and craft on the missing one with some good move speed, which is guaranteed through your essences. Boom, 28 exalts. Now I'll tell you what, these boots, I don't know what the base price is for the ES implicit by themselves on, uh, you know, sorcerer boots, but I can tell you it's probably, these boots probably cost nowhere near even 10 exalts to craft. So he is making really, really good margins of profit on some of these items. All right. Now, there's a few different things that I want to talk about, though, and that is going to be a little bit more uh, advanced stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the people who are buying mirrors, and I'm going to showcase something here. I'm going to go ahead and open this guy's account, which is another guy that I know. He's a flipper, flips the watcher's eyes, but uh, other different things as well. And the reason I'm, check I'm showing this to you guys is because I want to show to you guys this stuff right here. What this is, and you might be wondering, why does he have a purity of ice at 90x and a bunch of other garbage at 90x? Nobody's ever going to buy that, right? Well, no, nobody's ever going to buy a Rally and Cry level 1 gem with 5 quality at 90x. What this is called is basically a curtain. And the idea here is to hide what you're actually doing to make currency. But I'm smarter than this, so I'll be showing you guys how to uh, get around these things. So there's a few different curves that people are going to use. I've seen people use just a bunch of maps. I've seen people use just a bunch of dump tabs. I've seen, which is what this guy's doing, just a, a dump tab, which is a bunch, a bunch of random stuff. And then he just puts a, a higher price than anything that he's actually uh, messing around with. And, you know, it allows you to, to hide what you're doing to make your currency, which is very smart. Again, one of the things only the very try hard people do. All right, cool. So how do we get around this? Well, the easiest way is going to be to simply go under exalts, right? Or buy a price, turn that to exalts, and then put one lower than whatever his curtain is at. So if his, he's doing a 90 exalt curtain, if we input 89 maximum exalts, anything over that is going to be hidden. So all those 90 X gems, which were basically just there to throw you off, are no longer going to be there. Now, if we go and sort by price, we'll see what this guy's actually doing. Well, this is it. He is flipping voices, he is flipping replica ferals, he is flipping watcher's eyes, badge of the brotherhood, he's a flipper. I already knew that, I said that earlier, but this is what he's doing. Now we can actually try to, you know, uh, look into a little bit more what he's actually doing, what he's actually flipping. So we did say that he's doing replica ferals fur. Now what we could check into is, is he doing well-rolled ones or is he doing just anything? It does seem that he's doing just any sort of roll period Probably just flipping them, buying them for lower, selling them for a few exalts more. Nice little margin of profit. Why not? If you have enough currency on hand, you can do this kind of stuff. Now, let's look at his watcher's eyes. What is he doing in terms of watcher's eye flipping? Looks like he's got multi-precision with ES discipline. Pretty good for a lot of different builds. Uh, looks like he's got... Here he's got wrath penetration with ES clarity. Here he's got wrath penetration with ES clarity. Uh, so the fact that he is two times the same watcher's eyes means that he has probably got his eyes on these, life searching them, and whenever they pop up for probably the price of just like one of the most uh, expensive stats, so people are probably listing them up for just a few X for let's say uh, mana as extra energy shield by clarity, he picks them up and prices them for the price of two stats, which is alongside the penetration, you can make ridiculous amounts of currency flipping watcher's eyes. Uh, and then you could go through the rest of his stuff and really just learn exactly what he's doing. But yeah, he's mostly a watcher's eye flipper. Looks like he's also flipping uh, trinkets for 3% quantity. Uh, or sorry, for 3% regals as exalts, etc, etc. Other stuff. Now, that being said, there's another curtain that people are going to use. Things like maps. So what people will do is let's say this guy is flipping pretty much all, almost all the same thing. And it's 27 exalts. He wants to hide the fact that he's flipping 21 exalt, uh, 29, uh, 27 exalt items, sorry. And if I was to do this, right, and I was to do a maximum of 27 exalts, it might have just not shown me anything he's doing. All of a sudden, I'm getting no results because he's just got a bunch of maps listed. Well, what you can do is basically go under item category and go through different categories to see exactly what he's doing based on the item category. So it's going to hide all of the maps. So that's a good way uh, to make sure that you're not, you know, getting cucked by 
some type of you know curtain uh, hiding what these people are actually doing because trust me the people who are good at making currency in this game tend to really want to try and hide and stay secretive of what they're actually doing so that other people can't come and mess with their market because remember if you have one person and you have a complete monopoly on a certain market even if it's only got a 20 or 30 percent return of investment if you're getting every single listed item and you're getting a 20 30 percent return of investment and it's a 10 exalt item that's multiple exalts every single time you grab an item right if even just one person comes added themselves into this now there's two people now that should mean that you're going to make half the profit right he's going to get half you're going to get half but that's not really how that works because more people pming this the the same person for the item in a short period of time is going to trigger warnings for the, the the actual owner of the item to not sell and to look into it a little bit more so these people want to have monopolies on the kind of things that they're actually doing which is why we need to try to find ways to go around these curtains and the best ways that i've found is the buyout method you know going lower than what's uh uh, what's actually listed and also looking one by one in terms of um, item category uh, to make sure that we can hide different item categories if people are just throwing like a million different prophecies and div cards and garbage just to try to hide what they're actually doing realistically if you're trying to sell items you can't hide you literally cannot hide unless you're selling in an alt account and sending the currency to the main account to then try to flip and do other things and craft with the main account and then selling on an alt. That's really the only way to truly hide what you're doing. But like I said at the start of the video, only the truest and the biggest sweat lords actually do that. And that pretty much concludes the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Before I go though, as always, I want to say a huge thank you to my supporters. Johnny, Michael, Kluzi, Zrashi, Laro, Gaikona, Stefan, Kroonin, Michael K, JW Player, Scott, Richard, Justin, Alex, Ollie, Matt, Kevin, Marcus, Matthias, Hayden, Bittizen, Axel, and Acid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.